Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined over Zoom by Charlie Edwards. Uh, Charlie, I'm assuming the past 24 hours has been a very, very big relief for yourself. Finally out, title fight, your call. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Um, a long time coming. Um, a lot of hard work um, and and networking and consistent pressure has got, got me to this stage. And um, now managing myself, it's um, it's been a, a great partnership and um, partnering up with Wasserman and being on a uh, national TV, Channel 5. And um, a fight coming at such a short notice, but as an old professional, I stay ready all the time. I've stayed ready for the last two years. Um, so it's not going to be a six-week training camp. I've been in a two-week tra- uh, two-year training camp. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing, delighted, back in your call. I know the venue, very familiar with it and um, had some great nights there. And uh, grateful more than anything, um, Wasserman, um, Nissa and uh, Kelly Sowland, they um, got me this this opportunity and got me a headline act straight on Channel 5 at such short notice. So it shows the belief um, they have in me and um, it's just going to be a start of a beautiful journey I think I'm in the right place place at the right time and um, yeah I think I, I'm re- really looking forward to, to getting it under away Was it different kind of pre-fight managing yourself I know you've been trying to get a, an opportunity yeah. for a long time now um, since you started managing yourself speaking over when your brother fought with Matchroom and I'm sure you spoke yeah. to every other promoter but this is a big opportunity, isn't it, in front of terrestrial TV? And we know the numbers that brings with the likes of Harlem, Eubank, Lyndon Arthur, because the figures are there over the past 12 months. Yeah, figures don't lie, do they? Mm. They don't lie. And um, Wasserman, they're, they're doing great things in boxing, putting on more and more shows. Channel 5 are really getting behind, the box, uh, the, uh, getting behind their boxing and wanting to showcase it. To get me on at such short notice and get a TV slot straight away, off the back of the signing, it's great. I think I am the first former legit world champion signing with them. So um, it's it's moving in um, big directions. And I think I'm in the right place at the right time. And I'll grow with Channel 5 and I'll put on some great performances to the national general public. And figures don't lie. And it's, um, it's going to be very good for my profiling, very good for my career. And mo- first and foremost, mostly that... Um, uh, Nissa and, and Kelly and Wasserman really believed in me. You know, they they've given me a great tr- contract um, where I'm going to be very active. That where I look at other contracts, um, maybe from other promoters or other opportunities, I wouldn't have got what I'm what what I what I've been offered. Um, and that's activity as well as as well as good money as well. So um, I'm really looking forward to the journey. Um, I'm excited and I'm grateful to be in this position now after such a turmoil of my career and hardships which was out of my hands but the future is very bright and positive and um, we start that on on April the 12th against a uh, a good opponent IBO world champion and a former European champion um, and um, a good Frenchman and a southpaw as well so um, straight back into a proper fight good challenge and one that I'll be really up for. Yeah, I think Georges Ory is think he's undefeated in six fights now. Was it important for yeah. you to start this next chapter in your career with a? It's, it's a ten round title fight. It's no gimme. Yeah, and it's chucking you straight in the deep end. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. My last, my last few fights, I wanted to be in proper fights, believe it or not. Um, just didn't materialize like that. Um, so. I'm a true fighter. I like to be in big fights. I like to rise to the occasion. Um, I always put on better performances when I know there's um, a higher stake at risk. And um, yeah, it's, it's a fight that I'm really looking forward to, um, fighting the Southpaw. Um, and like you said, he's been undefeated in six fights. He's never been um, knocked out. He's been stopped, but only on a cut. Um, and yeah, I think our styles will gel great and be a good event uh, for the, the general public. And um, fighting back on TV, it's going to lift me again to a whole new level. And I look forward to um, to showcasing. I think they've titled it Don't Call It A Comeback. Does it feel like a comeback? Does it completely yeah. fresh start? It's a perfect headline, you know. Don't call it a comeback. Because the way I see it is um, I've, I've never gone anywhere. 
I've been living and breathing the sport of boxing in the gym, like consistent with it. I've actually gone up a level from even when I was training as world champ champion. I, I live a better life, a cleaner life. I give up alcohol like 18 months ago. I haven't touched a drop. Um, my life and my nutrition is on point all year round. Um, I train very hard all the time and I'm consistently improving. So um, I, I, it's perfect. Don't call it a comeback um, because it's not a comeback in my eyes. Um, I've never left. It's just my opportunity to shine again. Um, and I look forward to doing so. Um, and it's it, it fits in a in a good good song as well because we all know the L, L Cool J. Mama said knock you out. So um, yeah, it, it was a it was a it was a nice one. So it'd be nice to get the knockout on the night as well. Yeah, and you've now teamed up with Stephen Smith. You've been working with him for a while now. Um, how is that partnership developing? It's going from strength to strength, you know. Uh, me and Stephen really get on as people. I've never had it in my whole pro career um, how close um, I am with, with my coach. Um, talk daily, check in on each other. Um, in the gym, it's proper con constantly learning. Like, when I'm in there... It, being in the gym with with Stephen feels like I'm in there for like ten minutes. It's weird. Like we do ten rounds of pads, and I'm like, "Fuck no! Is that been, is that over already?" Because I'm constantly learning. Um, we're working together, collaborating with a lot of things, and um, our mindsets gel great. And and the style is coming out really nice in me, and I'm developing and and learning. So um, it's it's been a real good partnership. I think it's the best decision I've ever made. Um, and the right decision and like I don't feel like I'm just a number I feel like the, like I am like me and him do you know what I mean it's it's our journey and um, and the the energy he's putting into it and the hunger and passion is just on another level so um, yeah I'm really looking forward to us we're getting together well, obviously we've been working for a while now on the game plan because we've, we've kind of had this thought in our mind um, and I'm looking forward to delivering that on fight night and showcasing what a good coach he is as well as how much I've come on. Obviously, you're fighting for, I think it's a WBC ranked title on the 12th. Yeah. Is that the avenue you want to go down for that WBC world title? I know you've been vocal about mm. Paul Butler, the big domestic fights. What do you want from the rest of 2024? Um, Big fights. Big fights only. You know? um, I don't want to look past the 12th of April, if I'm honest with you. Um, I've got a good good opponent in front of me. I'm on the ball. Um, I'm training hard. I'm taking each day as it comes and giving my all each day. Um, I think too many people in this day and age has overlooked their opponents and they look down the line. They look, I want to chase this, I want to chase that. But when you've got a fight in front of you in a championship level fight um, where you can't afford to slip up, I can't afford to slip up, I can't afford to put in a bad performance. So why would I... Why? Sorry, sorry about that. Why, why, why would I look past George's Ori? Do you know what I mean? I've got a lot of respect for the guy, and that's what will bring the best performance out in me. And only then will I look past him and look for what's next. Um, we've seen it too many times. People slipping up these days, and um, I'm not going to be with that guy. You mentioned the changes you've made in your life really to have a greater impact in your career is it a case of you knowing how you've improved what you've done and you just got to show it to everyone now on the 12th of april exactly exactly um like what, what talks cheap at the end of the day i can sit here and say everything you know what i mean but at the end of the day if i don't go and deliver and don't put my words into action that's all it is um and over these last 18 months although I've been in the media a lot and I've been trying my hardest to get fights over the line, this and that, I've had to do a lot of talking, you know, I've had to do a lot of calling out and stuff like that. And it never happened. But now I'm with a promotional outfit who really believe in me and supporting me. And um, now I've got the fights in front of me. So talking's done now. And it's just the hard work. All the stuff I've done behind the scenes, I know what I've done and I look forward to showcasing that. And that's all I can say. And what's done in the dark will always have a way to shine. Is it a different type of feeling, you being in complete control of your career now? Because you have been very vocal, let's have it right, mm -hmm. about how you felt you were treated with Joe Gallagher. Do you feel like whatever you do now is completely in your control? 
Um, yeah, a hundred percent. I've learned the hard way in this game, to say the least. Um, I've been with some great people, been with some terrible people. Um, but the future's bright. It's a positive start now. Leave them in the in the dark. Um, don't need to bring them into it anymore. Um, and we 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 move forward with my career. Actions speak louder than words. And where am I now? Live on Channel Five, headlining my own show with Wasserman, who have really supported me and given me a very active journey. So managing myself was the best thing ever. Last one, Charlie. What can our fans expect from you on April twelfth? Long awaited return to the title fights. A very explosive performance, a very sharp, dominant and strong Charlie Edwards up at Bantamweight. You'll see all the hard work I've put in and I look forward to showcasing that in a proper, meaningful fight against a good opponent. Excellent, Charlie. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Nice one. And best of luck. Look forward to uh, seeing you back in the ring on the 12th, mate. Cheers. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. <laughs> 